My ninnies aren't the type to defy gravity in any way. I have very um, swing low, sweet chariot boobs. Hey friends, hey fam, what's poppin'? I hope you guys are doing so super well today, as well as you can be, of course, during these really crazy times. Staying hydrated, checking in with your friends, your family, your heart, and your mind, above all things. My name is Janae, and I typically post home decor and lifestyle videos right here on the tube and today we doing some of that we doing some of that actually we're doing all of that because it's a new month and that means it's time for another favorites video and yeah i've got a few things to show y'all but before we jump into this video i do want to say hello and warm welcome to all of the new people that have just like I don't know, crept up in here on this corner of YouTube. I'm super excited to meet a lot of you guys. Let's jump into this favorites video. We're actually gonna switch it up this time and start upstairs because I have a few things that I wanna show you in my room. This first recommendation, if you really like for your ninny winnies to be high north, you're not gonna really like this recommendation, but if you do not mind for your nins to just kinda sit naturally, I have a strapless, yes, strapless bra that I did not hate or despise. It actually feels kind of like a bandeau. It's like bandeau in the back, but it has this underwire situation right here, which usually, <laughs> And that would be a no, an absolute not. However, uh, this is nice and stretchy and actually really comfortable. My ninnies aren't the type to defy gravity in any way. I have very um, swing low, sweet chariot boobs. <laughs> Moving on to a few clothing things. These jeans, I am absolutely in love with them. And this brand, I believe, goes up to a size 24 or 22. I have the petite length, which is nice. If you are short, I highly recommend peeping these jeans they are very high-waisted and even have like a little bit of elastic but yeah I would recommend these Ooh, hey another item that I absolutely loved it doesn't like do it justice you know that cottage core look a lot of people are doing right now I hate that I just use that phrase but whatever this definitely gives that vibe because it has these flowy sleeves it is very like Big girl friendly, medium girl friendly, small girl friendly, highly recommend. And this was also from Free People. I really hope that they haven't been canceled in the past because I feel like every time I find something that I like, I find out that they've been canceled. Like Oatly, Oatly has recently been canceled. So it's like, who can you trust? Who do you love? Last little closet recommendation I wanna make are actually these sneakers. I don't know what kind of sneakers I got. I know they're Nikes. Oh, it says it, they're Metcons. I'm recommending these because if you have been more active lately or are already naturally active, these are so supportive. I believe they're supposed to be a training shoe. That's why I got them and I've been doing a few like, hit workouts or even strength training workout videos and those shoes i just feel so much more supported than in any of my other sneakers i'm super satisfied with that purchase so peep it now let's do a little planty fave this one isn't new but i've had it for a couple months now and it was my first time owning this type of plant and i just need to say she has been representing and it's this watermelon pepperoni -omia. i'll put the actual name on the screen but y'all i wouldn't say it's like the most beginner friendly because it took me a minute to figure out what she likes but she definitely seems to like to be a little bit damp and likes moisture but i want to give her a shout out because when i purchased her she only had a few like baby leaves and now sis has gone wild peep her moving on all right coming into the bathroom i've got some juicy recommendations for you guys i know i don't do much skincare stuff 
but I have an empty jar of something that I purchased probably about four months ago, maybe five. It's a vitamin C serum by Dr. Dennis Gross. Let me just say this, I got played at Sephora. You know, you go in. I made the mistake of telling them what I needed help with, and that's where I went wrong because someone convinced me to splurge on this, which I remember being like pretty expensive. I was not happy about the price, but it did have really good reviews and she spoke really highly of it and it's a vitamin c serum that also has collagen and it's supposed to just do some brightening and firming i don't think this is a necessity in your skincare routine but i personally have a lot of dark spots like around my chin area and underneath my neck and i definitely noticed a difference with this so if you're ever in the mood to splurge or maybe you want to add it to your holiday list what i should have said was get that braid get that head then leave um don't don't do that oh no we got a sustainable share there's this brand called humankind and they make um environmentally friendly products for pretty much skin hair all types of things i have been using their shampoo bar and their conditioner bar so here's the uh shampoo bar and here's the conditioner bar at least i hope that's the case but what's nice about them is that they don't come in plastic bottles, which we can all see the benefit to that, just eliminating some single-use plastic that's in your home where you can. I know for my fellow blackity black community on here, um, you may be a little worried about that. I have only used it when I've had an install in or some type of protective style in. So it's still getting, I mean, I still do my scalp and everything, but I haven't used it with my natural hair out just because I'm like diehard loyal to my Camille Rose shampoo and conditioner when my hair is out but if you're in a protective style I would recommend that and if you ain't black peep it I think that was about it in the bathroom mm -hmm. one more thing actually if you are into smelling nice for literally no one since we don't leave the house there's this perfume it's called by Chloe, I think. I just bought the tiny bottle because it was the cheapest, but it smells so good. This has a more of like a warmer scent, like, mm, I don't know. It just smells like romance. Let me know down below if you know what I mean when I say it just smells like romance. Mm, yeah, I've got no other description for you. So you'd really have to just trust me on that sheet. We've made it downstairs and I have some, um, peculiar kitchen recommendations. Let's just get the, 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 the most bizarre one out of the way. But to some people, this might be a godsend. Who knows? I actually keep it hidden because to me, it's too ugly to keep in the um, dish cabinet. <laughs> and that is this bowl. Can you can y'all see that? Can you see that? Look at me. I wish I could have you guess what the purpose of this bowl is, but that's not how YouTube works. So if you are someone who enjoys cereal, but you do not enjoy soggy ass cereal, this could be for you. Essentially, you put cereal in one part of the compartment and you put milk in the other compartment and <laughs> you just scoot each few bites into the milk so that way you're not having a bunch of cereal sitting in milk and getting all mushy gushy it has a nice little handle for you to hold the bowl properly i don't know let me know what y'all think this is pretty ridiculous but i do like it so i'm gonna recommend it you never know could be saving a life if you have seen any of my videos in the recent like two months, you have heard me not shut up about that $25 and below store called Goodies LA. But something I got from them or the most recent purchase I got from them were these, look, they're bowl plates. They have like nice depth, they're speckled, they're very sturdy and Everything there is under $25, but they're really nice quality and it's just more fun. You know, eating your food out of a bowl plate? If anyone has any theories as to why, would love to hear your feedback. This was a grown up splurge. I'm a single bitch, not married, haven't received a bunch of gifts, you know, for reaching that point in life. I one day decided I wanted nicer knives, especially since we've been cooking a lot more, all of us. But I did do a lot of research so you don't have to do that part. And these were very well reviewed by like regular people, also chefs. 
They're by Mycin Mycin. Honestly, I, I'm not gonna sit here and hold it while we film because I'm not trying to die. They are extremely sharp and it was worth the investment. But I've only had them for a couple of weeks. So who knows longevity wise if it's gonna be that great. <laughs> I got something good for you. If you are tired of being a wasteful whore, but you wanna get those healthy veggies in, these little crispers, I can't take credit for. My Instagram community, they are responsible for me purchasing these. Thank y'all for that. I don't know what these are called. I just call them vegetable crispers. I don't know, but it's a container for you to keep any type of leafy greens in, and it's supposed to keep your food fresher for longer. I'm assuming by catching the moisture, you know, the actual technology of it is not meant for me to understand. However, I can tell you this. I purchased this spinach almost two weeks ago. Not this past Sunday, but the one before. And today is, I think, Wednesday. You guys, this is insane. You know how spinach is. The first time I used it, my greens actually did not last even past a week, and I was honestly livid and thought I got played. But that time I had washed the greens first. This time I just put the greens in immediately and I also put in, don't come for me sustainable stands, I also put in a paper towel because I had tried a dish towel previously and it didn't seem to absorb as well as a paper towel. I put a paper towel in and that spinach has been going strong, highly recommend. This could save you money, honey. Let me also put you on to this pretty girl. A lot of you guys probably already have one of these or know about them, but I was late to the game and that is a salad spinner. Um, if you do wash your greens ahead of time, this is really nice in helping them get dry super fast. Or if you're just making like a salad on the spot, this is clutch. And watch this, wait for it. Hey, y'all saw that? It has its own brake system. Peep it, baby, peep it. All right, that's all the like kitchen gadgety stuff. Now let's get to the nummy nummies, the things that you can eat. Yes, we're adding food to the favorites. This one's a bit odd, and no, I'm not pregnant. I found this like 20 pound jar of pickles. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice, but y'all look how big this jar of pickles is. Um, hopefully this brand Bubbies is at many grocery stores. The flavor is immaculate. It is bread and butter chips. They don't taste like regular pickles. I think they added something because they're kind of sweet. Maybe I'm late to the game. I would recommend it. Specifically this brand Bubbies, it's lit. We've been happy. Ooh, I almost forgot something. Let's, let's rewind. There's a recipe I'm gonna link down below that I want you guys to peep because you deserve to treat yourself. One of my favorite things to do in the past couple months has been to just, I don't know, act like I'm at a nice bougie cafe or brunch restaurant. I found this recipe for like fun party toast. That's not what they call it, that's just what I'm calling it. Party toast. <laughs> but it's just like open-faced toast with like random shit on it that tastes really good. And I made one that had sliced peaches, basil, and prosciutto, and I'm about to put you out. Jumping back to health and wealth, all that jazz, there is this YouTube channel I wanna put you guys on in case you don't know about it. And it's this couple called Mr. and Mrs. Muscle. Honestly, I haven't done any videos with the husband in it. I've only done them with the wife, but their fitness videos are so on point. One, quality bomb. Two, so organized. If you have knee issues or back issues, they have all of their playlists organized based off of what your needs are. And what I've been loving about their videos is there's 10 minute ones, 20 minute ones. Definitely check them out. It's free for you. The last things I wanna recommend to you guys have to do with entertainment. So let's, let's go take a seat on the couch that I disrespect very frequently. First show I wanna to recommend to you guys, it actually is old, but a new season is coming out in a couple of weeks, which is why I'm shouting it out right now, and that is The Haunting of Hill House. If you're not into scary stuff, just fast forward because you're not gonna to wanna to hear about this. I'm not gonna do any spoilers either. Um, but Sarah, 
Sarah <laughs> recommended it to me and she had already seen it and was kind enough to watch it again with me and y'all it was like a high quality scary movie but it's a series so you just get episodes on episodes um the storyline was engaging i was definitely on the edge of my seat plenty and yeah it wasn't like one of those senseless scary pieces the acting was on point peep it the only other show I want to recommend is Lovecraft Country and unfortunately you cannot binge it like um, a lot of other great shows because it's still airing new episodes currently but it is an HBO show and if you do not have access to HBO you need to talk to somebody get on tinder I don't know what you need to do but get your ass a code because the show is just so well done ties really well um like racial issues in america during the jim crow era as well as sci-fi which i would never expect to see those two things together yeah they do it really well the acting is on point also the actors are really nice to look at not gonna lie and it is a little bit scary but nothing crazy and then the last cool thing is that they tie in modern day music and oldies i don't even know how they're doing that and poetry famous lectures and speeches y'all it's just a creative masterpiece and you really should watch it so yeah peep day okay all right you guys um the only other thing that will be linked down below is my playlist any of the recent songs are just favorites from this month uh yeah that's about it if you made it this far in the video drop down below what's been the best thing you've watched on tv this past month whether it's an oldie a newbie a goodie whatever i want to know what's up also <laughs> A bitch loves recommendations. You already know who you are. You know what you is. You the best, you the baddest. And I love you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You ain't nothing but a bad bitch. Hey, you ain't nothing but a bad bitch. Hey.